Out of this dramatic dash cam video tonight, in the confrontation with police, you can hear this man pleading for officers to shoot him. It's a scene which could have easily ended in gunfire. But investigators tell CBS 46, de-escalation training played a big role in making sure that did not happen. The 19th Julian Johnson is live at the Peachtree City Police Department with the story. Julian. Sharing communication and patience, two of the main reasons police say this whole thing came to a peaceful ending. And that's despite the fact that the suspect was trying to do anything to get police to shoot him. Stop right there. Stop. Stop. You gonna shoot me? Watch and listen closely as the man Peachtree City police officers are trying to help instead tries enticing them to shoot. He's saying things like, what do I gotta do for you to shoot me? Um, I might have a weapon in my pocket. Lieutenant Mark Brown says the incident started after the man jumped on someone's car. Brown showed the video of what followed only to CBS 46. In the 45 minute clip, you, you can see the suspect inching closer to police. At times, his hands in his pocket as he threatens to have a weapon. I don't want to shoot you, man. Say shoot me, shoot me. He's walking towards him, say shoot me. What are you waiting on? Shoot me. All the while, police officers, including a crisis intervention instructor, continue efforts to communicate and remain patient. It's training like this, Brown says his officers get on a yearly basis. We don't know who this guy is in the middle of the street, and obviously he's doing some rational things, so we just got to calm things down and reevaluate it. With a nation on edge, a series of deadly police shootings, we've seen situations like this play out differently, including in Chicago, where a man threatening violence was shot and killed. But in this case, there were no bullets or bloodshed, only this. Brown says he doesn't want his department to be compared to others, but believes it's important the public takes in the entire picture when judging police actions based on video. A lot of the things we see right now, which is is a very small 10 second or less version of a very long event, and once you look at these things in their totality, you understand there's a lot more factors involved that led up to the, the conclusion, right? And we've learned that this suspect's name is Tyshawn Petway. He's 28 years old. Turns out he did not have a gun, but there's still no clear indication what led to his behavior. Tonight we're live outside Peachtree City PD. Julian Johnson, CBS 46 News 19. Julian, thank you. Right now.